In this series, we have echocardiograms of a few congenital heart diseases. The first one shows left ventricle to right atrium shunt associated with a perimembranous ventricular septal defect. Various possibilities are discussed. The second one shows an ostium primum atrial septal defect with tricuspid regurgitation. Third one shows a few views of tetralogy of fallow. The intact patch at the site of intracardiac repair of subaortic ventricular septal defect in TIF is seen in the last few frames. Here is an echocardiogram of an LV RA shunt in perimembranous VST. Now seen in the apical four chamber view. The jet is passing from the LV to the RA through the septal tricuspid leaflet for which there is a fenestration. This is the short axis view of the perimembranous VST. LVRA shunt can occur in three ways in VST. One is atrioventricular septum between the septal attachments of the mitral and tricuspid valve is defective. Two, perimembranous VST with associated fenestration of septal tricuspid leaflet so that the VST jet is partly directed from the LV across the interventricular septum through the tricuspid valve into the right atrium as you see in this case. Third is ventricular septal defect with tricuspid regurgitation so that the blood shunted from LV is passing immediately into the right atrium to produce a step up in oximetry in the right atrium. This is the echocardiogram in apical four chamber view showing an ostium primum atrial septal defect. Left to right shunt across the atrial septal defect is seen. Atrioventricular valves are at the same level. Here you can see the tricuspid regurgitation jet in the apical four chamber view. This is the parasternal long axis view in tetralogy of fallow. Aortic valve is seen in the closed position. You can see the ventricular septal defect which is subaortic. And you can see the right to left flow across the interventricular septal defect which is blue in color. It is away from the transducer. This is a patent ductus arteriosus in a case of tetralogy of fallow. You can see the flow into the pulmonary artery, which is a continuous flow. This is the CW Doppler, continuous wave Doppler of PDA jet. Now we will see what happens after a repair of tetralogy of fallow. You can see a dense patch in the subbiotic region. There is no flow across the patch in this case. That means the repair has been complete. There is no residual ventricular septal defect. This is the M mode echocardiogram and this is the pulmonary regurgitation which is almost invariably seen after repair. M mode of pulmonary valve showing the A wave. This is the pulmonary flow after repair. Good flow. And this is the apical four chamber view showing all four chambers. Now we have a four chamber view showing the tricuspid regurgitation which is persisting. This is the subcostal view showing the intact intraatrial septum. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thank you.